Man, y'all niggas split that. Uh, Quake on, let me get some water. Let me get some water. Man, get the hell on. What the hell Drake got going on? So for people who don't know, I did just play the clip without leading up to it. So for people who don't know what that clip was, of course, last week when we talked about that bar, when Drake said he said, what is that water? What's that? Um, it was in the water in Clayco. So they got a, it's a water bottle. And on the water bottle, it's a Clayco water. So, the, the, of course, the water boys in Atlanta out there selling Clayco water. You're like, man, that's that. And you heard him. It's that, it's that new Drake. That's that new Drake. It's that Clayco water. So, of course, Lotto leaned into it. And then she posted just the water bottle. And then Drake repo. I mean, no, Drake posted it. Drake posted the clay cold water bottle on his page. You know, he posted, you know how he just posts a bunch of pictures. So he just posted a random picture of some clay cold water and then Lotto reposted it. And the crazy thing is, and, and this is what I with one because people was like, you know, of course Lotto haters gonna be like, oh, it's crazy. You sitting here ratting on your on your sister relationship, but you ain't never sitting here and talking about yours. And I seen people in the journal is like people like crazy, a crazy plot twist would be what if Drake and Lotto been dealing with each other? Jeez. And that's the crazy thing because she never told y'all who her boyfriend was. Yeah, that's crazy. And yeah, just because you seen her leaving out the joint, like who I nobody don't. And yeah, that was a that know, was a crazy plot crazy. to us. And I was like, man, you could be right. What if it was? Yeah, no, you're right. Because you wouldn't know. How would and you know? Be a, definitely it'll be a twist. <laughs> it'll be the cra- and, and you know the crazy thing is, and again, when we talk about the bobs and how crazy Nikki fan and, base and is. He played it off like, you know, 21 Savage and all that stuff. And He's, all the time. He, that's a smart move. That could have been. I okay. don't blame. Hey, I ain't mad at you. Hey, you want to keep your shit quiet? Quiet. And this is the best way to do it. Nobody sit here and, hey. and pay attention to you, and you put throw it off on somebody else. That's, that's a smart move. A smart move. This chestnut checkers. But then the crazy thing is, again, when we talking about just the bobs and how crazy that community is. Oh, they was in the comments like, oh, Drake, you so disloyal. How you sitting here cool with Lotto and this, that, and the third? You know her and Nikki got smoke. What? Who do y'all like, bro? Y'all cannot be that crazy. You can't be that crazy. And nobody, and realistically, no, I think a lot of us, you have the one, you have, I ain't gonna say a lot of us, just the bobs. Y'all gotta realize, dog, I don't necessarily know how crazy cool Nikki Drain and Drake and Wayne is. Like, I don't necessarily know that. Like, we all want them to be more cooler than they yeah. probably realistically is, but we really somebody don't. said that, I don't know about what I seen there. Somebody was like, I think well, I'm we saying, haven't I'm, got it. Oh yeah, I'm about to play it right now. Ero said it. Old as hip hop fans, a collab Drake Wayne album, EP? Or, or, or just an EP, or a Drake Wayne Nikki seven joints, five joints. Where, something. Where, where, where is that relationship between Drake and, and, and Nikki? There, there's, there, there's. I think it's love. There, it's, you know, when it, when they, when the schedules align, we're cool. When they don't yeah. align, you know, she was she was uh she had him on her oh, album. Yeah. Okay. So you know, yeah. So okay. All that was cool. I think we're oh. Over- I don't know. To me, to be honest, if, if you if I'm just, I guess, on the outside looking in, it looked like Drake just do stuff for Nikki as a favor to Wayne. I don't feel like it's they no really genuine. Have. It don't seem like they genuinely cool. Like, And the reason why I say that is because that whole Meek Mill shit, I think. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we can be kind of like over it, but we ain't, I don't really necessarily know if he know. ever really over it. Because that could have, for even for, I mean, of course, Meek got the, the worst end of that, but that could have went super bad for Drake. Like, if Drake wasn't, if Drake wasn't the real competitor like he is, dog, that could have went super bad for him. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I feel like that's just, if just me, you, you a female, and just in confidential, and you sit here and told that to somebody that you dealing with who I got beef with, not like even, some no, not, I mean, yeah, some, a vulnerable moment, of course, and even just not that though. I'm just still even saying, like, just for example, like Drake on tour right now, and he just, he just, okay, he, I guess J Cole went off, like J Cole got, you know, he got Dream. We did talk about the Dreamville Fest. He got the Dreamville Fest coming off, so he went off, and then he put Wayne and, and Dirk on there. But it's you always, it's like you, nobody's gonna question Drake's love for Wayne because anytime he get a chance mm-hmm. to, they in the room together, he gonna always never, express how much he got, up. how much love he got Drake for Lil Wayne. Nikki. Yeah, it's never, it's not that same thing. You just sit here, even still, when it was like when Wayne was on tour and Wayne was even doing smaller venues, Drake still was popping out on Wayne shows. Like when he had free, you when Drake got free time, bro, Drake, Drake gonna make his way to somebody else's show. He gonna make his way to a studio and he gonna do whatever the case may be. Like it's never, I don't never think nobody. And I think realistically, I, we talked about this on here before. I don't think the reason why we never got a Drake and Wayne collaboration album because I think it's too much pressure on them. Like there's no pressure for Drake to do one with Twenty One. There's no pressure for him to do one with Future. It's it, to, well, to well, me the he, two people that he gonna have the most pressure on doing an album with, and people gonna have expectation for it to figure out what it's gonna sound like or what it should sound like will be Ross and Wayne. 
Like think about when you think, think Ross? Yeah, huh. because think about when him and Ross put out a song, and if it is not up to the calib- caliber of what them two normally do together, people even judge that. I would say it's more pressure with out of them three. Out of them three. I what feel you mean, like what's the three? Who the third person? I w- with, even with Nikki. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you can take Nikki out, I don't know. Okay, Nikki. all right, all right. So just with them two, and yes, it's more pressure with Wayne than it is with Rick Ross. I think the pressure almost equal, though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think that I don't because I feel like even with Ross, a lot of his songs is just it's just a genuine. I, I feel like it's just. It's not too much of us overdoing each. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they're it's, not, they're, it's, I get what you're it's saying. Kind of like an even kill. Mm-hmm. But with Wayne and Drake, it's just like, all right, I can't let Wayne out rap me. Oh, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's a, it's a more competitive. I feel like with Drake and Ross, it's all right. We just both just it's an even kill. You know, whatever it is, it, it come out that way. But I feel like even with with Wayne, it's still gonna be a competition. With Drake, it's still gonna be coming. This is like if it's Kobe and LeBron on the same team. Yeah, no, of course, no. I, I agree with what you're saying. I agree. I totally agree with what you're saying. But I do think it's, I do think it's the level of competition one. But then still, people are going to have the expectation on. It should sound like, uh, uh Kanye and Jay Z like that. Like because who who don't two are and who they are to their. To the, I don't the, think the to, Ross and Drake would have to be a Kanye. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Wayne and Drake. I'm talking about Wayne, 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 Wayne and Drake. Yes, yes, Wayne yes, and Drake. Yes, People yes. are going to compare it to Watch the Throne, where it's like, Wayne can do one with two chains. Nobody don't even care. Like, you like it or you don't like it. There's not no expectation about it. But if Wayne and, and Drake sit here and say, hey, we put out a collaboration album, bro, people are going to critique that album from beginning to end, from the ad-libs to the beats. So if realistically, hey, yeah, it's no way in hell we're going to do it. Cause it's not like, oh, what's their relationship? Because nigga, they every album, uh, damn, damn near every Drake album, it's a Wayne feature on it. Mm-hmm. I think the only one that didn't have one is probably the most recent Joni just put out. That's the only one. All the rest of them, from uh, Certified Level Boy to whatever, all them other projects, dog, Wayne is all over them Jones. So it's just like, ah, yeah, I don't know, dog. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, I'm not mad at you for not rushing to ever accomplish that one. Like I get it. To me, that just was like, yeah, I don't know. That that would be a tricky one. I, I'm I'm never mad at them for skipping out on that one. Uh, da, 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 we here, da, 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 do, 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 I get. Well, let's get. I guess we kind of talk about Bruno Mars. We can talk about Bruno Mars.